Hello everyone, welcome back to the homestead. So today we're gonna to be out here working in our garden area and we're gonna to try to get the majority of our plants planted in our earth garden here. But before we can do that, we're gonna to have to we're gonna to have to put some holes in this weed fabric. And to do that, I've got a this is a Big Max torch, I believe that's what it was called. I picked this up at Rural King. It has a really nice three inch diameter end on it and that'll make a nice perfect hole in the fabric. Now one thing that I don't like, or one thing that I'd have to be cautious of, is it has this trigger mechanism, and when you hit this, it puts out a huge flame. You can hear the gas, right? I mean, it puts out a huge flame. If I would accidentally hit this trigger, I would probably melt like five feet of this fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light this off, and I'm gonna burn it real hot and get this end very hot. And then I'm gonna turn the flame off. That way I don't accidentally um, melt anything I don't want to. I'm gonna use this as a branding iron and I'm just going to touch the places that I want to melt. And hopefully this stays hot enough that I can melt quite a few holes before having to heat it back up. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start getting our holes in our fabric and we've got plenty of plants over there that we can go ahead and put in the ground. Well, that didn't work. Don't have it hot enough yet. So the first time I tried to melt a hole, it actually didn't work. I think since I was hitting that trigger mechanism, that flame, that flame was shooting so far off the tip, it actually wasn't heating the tip up. So now what I'm doing is I'm just letting it sit here and kind of smolder, and just letting it kind of burn out of both ends, letting it kind of, I'm sure it'll heat up this way. So just give it a few minutes here, let it get hot, and I'll try it again. There's a nice hole. I'll put it out. Well, trial and error. See, I hit the trigger. That's what I gotta be afraid of. Well. Putting my flame out too. Hmm. Well, I think I got this thing figured out now. So I can't really cut more than one hole. It cools down really quick touching the ground. Um, so I tried leaving a little bit of flame in there. And if you leave the flame too small, it puts itself out. So you gotta kind of get the flame adjusted just right so it will keep burning out the top holes while you're cutting the hole in the fabric. Seems to be working right now, but I gotta make sure I grip real low and not hit this trigger. So when you do this, I think it helps when you push down to give a little twist, and that's good. So that was the first time that I'd used that weed burner to put holes in this fabric. Previously, I just used like a hand torch and I would just kind of cut the holes in the fabric. So my, my old holes are pretty, they're a little bit bigger and they're a little jagged, they're not perfect circles. Now that does make a nice perfect hole in the fabric. 
but the, the learning curve is is that it didn't I was hoping to use it as a branding iron that didn't work it cools down real quick um, even when you just turn it off move the measuring tape and then move the tank and relight it off that next hole doesn't want to cut because it's cooled off so much so it's amazing uh, how fast it does cool back off so a little bit of a learning curve I think I've got it roughly down to where it's going to work for me but since I've got my first set of holes in the ground I want to go ahead and start getting this broccoli and cauliflower in the ground so to make this job go easier I ended up buying one of the augers that fit on a drill I uh, I saw that Living Traditions Homestead had one and I was thinking oh man that is so much easier so I did some searching on the internet and I found I found this on Amazon originally um, this is power planter is what this is the brand name it is and it was gonna be like 30 days almost a month somewhere in there to get it from Amazon with the quarantines and everything their shipping is so far behind so I went to search this uh, other places and I went directly to their website powerplanter.com and this is a US, made in the USA product this is actually made in the United States they actually do have several sizes of these this is a three inch uh, in diameter seven inches long so it's the exact same diameter as the holes we just put in the fabric now they do have a two inch diameter though that may work better uh, depending on what size your plants are planted in but um, this is what we're going to be using today this is not sponsored or anything like that I, I just looked them up I searched them on the internet and uh, so far I've been really happy with it you can see that it's dirty we use this to plant flower bulbs um, my wife had a bunch of flower bulbs and so we just punched a bunch of holes in the ground planted all our bulbs and covered them up it worked really well for that and I know it's going to work really good today in this fabric so let's go ahead and get started So that ended up working great I think I got all those holes uh, drilled out in like two minutes so I did just look up broccoli and cauliflower to see what the plant spacing was and um, apparently I can plant those one foot apart and that brand new row that I just burnt uh, and made the holes I put those as two foot spacing so now I've decided to go back and burn more holes first so I'm gonna go ahead and put more holes in the far two rows and I should have plenty of spots to be able to plant all this broccoli and cauliflower and then I'll go back we'll drill out those holes as well and then I'll finally start getting these plants in the ground oh see I hit the trigger I've got to put a patch in there. Oh, son of a gun. It's doing good till then. A trigger. Oh, man. I did exactly what I hoped that I wouldn't do. When I went to cut this hole, I accidentally bumped that trigger and the flame shot out and it melted the fabric here. Uh, I probably got almost a foot long hole there. So that pretty much kind of ruins the fabric. It just doesn't look as nice. There's more opportunity for weeds to come in. I mean, it's not really the end of the world. Um, I mean, everything will still plant and grow just fine. It just, it's just not as picture perfect as it was before. So what I'll probably end up doing, I may put a piece of fabric over this kind of patch it in I may just put a piece of fabric over this that's got a nice hole in it and just staple that down on top of here so I don't have such the opportunity for for weeds to grow in this location um, like I said it's not the end of the world it's just it's just disappointing to see that I melted the fabric like that
So it's been a few days now since we planted all these plants in the garden and the power planter worked out great. Very happy with how well it worked. It, it was able to make the holes to plant in very quickly. Definitely uh, planning on going back and, and buying the two inch version of this auger as well. Uh, definitely like the power planter. The thing that ended up not going well was the weed burning torch. Being able to try to put the holes in the fabric with this torch. I watch people on YouTube all the time and they're using one of these to pop nice little perfect circles in in the fabric. So I thought this is going to be easy. Well there's a little bit more of a learning curve to it than you think. Um, it doesn't stay hot enough very long to use it um, as a branding iron to melt it. So you got to keep the flame going. You've got to adjust the control knob on here. You got to get the perfect amount of flame that it doesn't go out when you plunge it into the fabric. And then my biggest problem was more to do with the torch and this trigger. This trigger is just way too easy to bump. Sometimes you're moving around and you might be able to hit it. But another thing is, is as you're, I mean, it's just too easy to bump into this trigger. I ended up shooting out a flame and melting uh, the fabric. Very disappointed when that happened. Um, so that's the thing I don't like about this torch is, is the trigger. It's just too easy to bump. And it's, it's really weird because today I just happened to be um, at the farm store today and I, there was two versions of this. So when I bought this, there was only one in the store. And today I see that there's two of these in the store. So one of has the trigger and one only has this knob. And if I was going to go back and do this all over again, knowing what I know today, I'd probably just go back and buy the one with the knob. This just allows you to adjust a constant flame and you can make just a big a flame with this knob as you can the trigger. Um, so I would probably just go back without the trigger so I didn't accidentally bump it. So disappointing. Um, I'm just gonna have to be really careful as I use this torch. So I did patch the fabric uh, where I melted. I put a little patch over it. So let's just take a quick look and I'll show you how I patched that. So here is the little patch that I put in. It can completely covers up the place that I burnt in the fabric. So I just I just folded these edges over on each side. I did tuck this one under that piece of fabric, put two landscape staples there, and just put two landscape staples there along that edge. And that should work well enough to keep the weeds out. And uh, yeah, I was a little disappointed that I did it, but I think that this patch is gonna, it'll work out just fine so I don't have any extra weeds. So you may have noticed after we planted all those plants, we still had a bunch of soil left on top of the landscape fabric. So typically you would, uh, you're gonna end up with a little bit of extra soil because you're already bringing more soil in with your potted plant. And normally you'd take that extra soil, you would kind of lift up the fabric and you would tuck it in that hole that the plant was planted in and you'd kind of mound that up around the plant. I just didn't do a very good job of trying to collect up all the dirt and getting it back under the fabric. Um, we did get we did get some other things planted that I didn't have on film. We planted on the south side over here, we planted uh, pumpkins and zucchinis and butternut squash. It was just seeds that we planted in the ground over here in the fabric. And then we got this all planted, except for there's about eight holes that are still empty that I'll have to get some more plants to put in. So I've still got, there's a few other things that I need to plant. I can't remember them all, but the main things are going to be the green bean and green beans and the sweet corn. And we're going to plant that in the fabric here as well. We're going to use a different method though. We're going to be trying to space probably our green beans like every two inches. So, and then the corn we're probably going to space every four inches. So we're going to use some smaller burnt holes. I think I've got something worked out. I'm going to try it, see if it works and try to burn small holes in it. And uh, it'll, you'll have to wait and see in the next video. We're going to try a different method. We're not going to be using the weed burning torch. So. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for this video. Happy to have at least half the garden in the ground now. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, see, I hit the trigger.